Hi, good afternoon. We're back in our bread and pastry. Okay, so here we are now making our bread. And this is going to be a bread that is with fillings. So um, we have here Spanish bread. We have cheese bread. You have pan de coco. You have also raisin bread. Okay, and maybe for some, if it is available, you can have hot dog inside the bread ham or bacon or even red eggs these are now options that you can have for some of course what you have nowadays is our big shopao okay that could be another one which is something inside the filling of a bread so definitely uh, we will have here one basic basic ingredient that we need is the flour of course this is going to be bread flour because we are making bread, okay? Uh, if for those who do not have a bread flour, you can use a wheat flour, okay? You can also use all-purpose flour, but again, with your all-purpose flour, you are going to need a gluten. If this is available in your area, why not? But I'm sure you have bread flour in your localities in the market or in the groceries, and it's easy to look for this. It has a 3AA or angel white flour, okay, or simply bread flour, which is placed in the label. This kind of mixture is actually called basic sweet dough. Okay, why basic? Because this kind of uh, dough that we're going to mix can be used for the different kinds of breads with different fillings. This is five cups of bread flour, okay? Now, eh, for my students who are going to have the return demo, you can have the recipe. But if you wish to do it and you're going to serve this to your family, why not? Okay, so we are now dividing our sifted. This has been sifted already. This is five cups of bread flour. Half of this will be used for one mixture and the other one will be used for another mixture. We have now here our lukewarm water. Okay, this is a little bit warm. Okay, our lukewarm water, we are now placing our yeast. Okay, so this is our yeast. And one secret ingredient of your yeast actually is sugar we are placing just a little of our sugar in our mixture why the sugar is actually the food of the yeast so here we are now uh, if you try to observe there it starts to create bubbles already we will leave this and let it stay for at least 10 minutes okay let it settle see now that our yeast has already doubled okay so you have to wait until it bubbles okay we will now mix our divided flour so this is just half of uh, this is like two and a half cups of flour okay from our five cups of flour we are mixing now our yeast mixture in our flour okay this is our bread flour. We are now placing our milk. Okay. Slowly with our milk. We will now also mix our sugar. Okay. So here it is. If you have a mixer, you can use the hook mixer to mix the dough of your bread. But I'm just simply using my hand because I'm sure most of my students do not have a mixer. After mixing my sugar and the milk, I am now placing the oil. Okay. I'm also placing the salt. There you are with the salt. I am now placing the flour in the mixture. Okay. Mixing it. There you are. Just simply adding two cups of flour. So a while back, 
we place two cups of flour with the other liquids that we place the milk the oil we place the sugar the salt now after mixing it i am now placing an additional of just two cups i'm now placing the eggs one at a time so one egg first then mix it okay just mix it mix it together so there you are so you have to mix the eggs one at a time okay just mix this for at least three minutes mixture and add the other egg So again, it will be faster if you have a mixer, a dough mixer, you're going to use the hook for mixing this. Now we add the last egg. There you are. I've already placed the three eggs. Now I will have to la add the last one cup of our flour. And I'm going to mix this for at least 8 to 10 minutes. In your module, the instructions is already placed there with our basic sweet dough. Okay. There you are. After placing all the eggs at one at a time, I am now placing the last cup of my bread flour. If you think the dough is a little bit wet, you can still add another one-fourth cup of flour. But if your dough is not really that moist, you can already use that flour, the whole flour with it, okay, until your dough becomes smooth, okay. So I'm just simply adding one fourth cup again. I am now placing a little oil in our container. Okay. Spread the oil after kneading your flour at least 10 minutes. Okay, so you have it now there. Beautiful. I'll place it here. Let it rest for at least 60 minutes. The technique of removing all the excess flour on your hands is just simply adding some oil. And you have it here now with our dough, beautiful dough. You simply have to place either a plastic or a piece of cloth to cover this and let it rest for at least an hour. We are going to make now our Spanish bread, okay? So we have here now all our ingredients. We have our sugar, we have our flour, we have our baking powder, we have our breadcrumbs, and we have our vanilla. All you have to do is to mix all the ingredients together. So this is the filling of our Spanish bread, okay? So you have the breadcrumbs, you have the brown sugar, the flour, the baking powder, all together. Okay. After mixing all of this, we set this aside. Okay, so this is the filling of our Spanish bread. Okay, in the provinces, I'm sure you have this kind of coconut. You have here your grated coconut, or coconut flakes or shredded coconut you have here also your vanilla I am now mixing the vanilla the sugar together with the butter we have now mixed our coconut 
the butter in the brown sugar. This is now for our raisin bread. Okay, this is raisin bread with cinnamon. So this is your sugar, this is your raisins, your butter, and your cinnamon. All we have to do is to soak our raisins in one fourth cup of water until this is going to expand. We just simply have to mix this together for our raisin bread. dough has already risen. Okay. So, ito lang po yung medyo magpapatagal sa atin. Yung pagpapaalsa ng ating dough. Tignan nyo. Okay. Doble na po yung dough natin. Our dough has doubled. And if I punch it, it's coming back. Okay. So, this is punching the dough. And now, you can see it is really nice. We are now going to have our dough because we are going to use this basic sweet dough for four different kinds of fillings okay so i am divide this into four i will set aside the three we will get that later i will only get one fourth of this okay so I can use it for different, actually for different kinds of filling. Okay. So the first one that we are going to make is our pan de coco. Okay, we have already the flake. Here you are, our flake, coconut, you have sugar and the butter. I will now divide my dough into four again. Okay, so there you are. This is going to rise again and it's going to double its size from this. You can see now our dough. I will just simply have to place the filling. This is our pan de coco, approximately one tablespoon. You can now get the edges of your dough. Turn this, okay, and lock. Okay, just simply lock it and turn it this way. So that the inside and the outside of your dough is going to be even and nice okay so this is one we will repeat i repeat it okay so this is my pan de coco dough from our basic dough i am now placing the filling okay i simply have to get the edges of this pan de coco dough I simply have to twist it, lock it, so this is not going to open when you cook this. And you simply have to turn it this way. So your dough is going to be even inside and outside. Okay, I will now set this aside and place the egg wash which is a combination of the egg. So this is our egg. And I simply have to place our milk. Okay, I simply have to mix this together. And brush it on my dough. And you have to let this rest, okay, for at least another 20 minutes. Placing a little flour where we are supposed to place our dough for our Spanish bread. Okay, 
so I'm simply doing this for our Spanish bread we will form this into a triangle so we need our rolling pin again for those ones who do not have a rolling pin you can use a bottle or a can to roll the dough so you can maximize be resourceful on what you have at home especially now that you cannot buy your equipment so from here we will now have to shape this into a triangle so this is our triangle and this is our spanish bread we have now the mixture of our breadcrumbs, our vanilla, the sugar together, baking powder, okay, and a little flour. We will now roll this, okay? So when you roll it, there you are. Our Spanish bread will look like this, okay? And we will now place again the egg wash. Okay. And you will place this in. You have the breadcrumbs. Simply roll this in your breadcrumbs. Okay. After placing your egg wash, place this in your breadcrumbs. Okay. This is now our Spanish bread. We are going to let this rest at least for 20 minutes. We simply have to flatten it. Okay, you can make a big raisin bread or a small raisin bread. Okay, so this is it. I simply have to place the filling. Just simply spread it. Okay. So spread the mixture of your raisins, your sugar, your butter. Spread it. Okay. You can actually have an option of placing nuts. If you wish to place nuts, why not? Okay, so after spreading this, we will now roll our raisin bread. So there you are. This is our raisin bread. It's just a small raisin bread that we are making. But you can again make a bigger one. With our basic sweet dough, I am now making different kinds of breads. So you can lock this, okay, lock it very well, especially the sides of your raisin bread, Just simply lock it and then roll, okay, there you are. And again, we will have to place this in a small pan like this. If you don't have this kind of pans, you can actually use a foil, okay? So I am now placing my raisin bread inside my pan and I am now placing the egg wash, okay? So this is my raisin bread with the egg wash. There you are. Simply the egg wash will make it glossy and brown at the top. Again, you have to let this rest for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Now we are now making the hot dog and cheese filling. Okay, so you have here, again, we will have to shape this into a triangle okay it is similar to what they call the croissant okay but of course the dough of your croissant is different so for your filling 
how I wish you can make the ube pandesal, but it, that would be another procedure. Okay, so I am now shaping this into a triangle. Okay, and I will now place the hot dog. So the hot dog, this is just plain hot dog. Okay, again, we will place the egg wash and let this again rest for another 20 minutes. I am now placing cheese. Okay, so this is another option that you can place. I slice the cheese and place it here. If you have mozzarella cheese, quick milk cheese, but I'm just simply using Eden cheese. So I am now rolling this, okay. And this is another version of our sweet dough with a filling. We are now making our ensimada, but I am now making a big ensimada. I am now slicing the dough, okay, so this is my big ensimada, again it is your option, you can make a small ensimada, okay, we are simply going to roll our dough, so there you are, this is our dough, and with this dough, we are now going to braid this, okay, one after the other. So this, alternate with your dough, okay, so there you are, with our braided ensimada. Simply have to braid it, okay, and we will now turn our ensimada. So there you are. Lock your ensimada inside. So this is it. This is our ensimada. We will now again place it in our pan. Again, the pans I am using are disposable pans. These are made of foil. If you have a real pan, why not? But if you don't have, you can make use of this. Again, I will have to brush this with my egg whites. There are different versions of our ensimada. Alternate to your ensimada, you actually can place ube jam. So you have the jam with ube jam with your ensimada, or maybe you can place cheese in between Okay, or you can place hot dog in between your ensimada. There are different versions that you can make now with your ensimada. And later in our ensimada, we are going to place cheese, of course, grated cheese and butter and sugar. We have to prick our pan de coco, okay? Yes, and we have this to be cooked 20 minutes with our Spanish bread. It's going to be cooked 15 to 20 minutes. If you see that the outer part is going to be golden brown, then we can already get it. So, we have preheated our oven. After preheating our oven, it's already warm, our oven is warm, we will now place our Spanish bread and our pan de coco. After 20 minutes, okay, this is already our Spanish bread. That's 20 minutes cooking. For pan de coco also after 20 minutes we are now placing our ensimada this is a big one this is going to be baked at least for 20 to 25 minutes 
Our raisin bread is also 20 to 25 minutes. Why? Because our raisin bread is placed in a very small pan. If your raisin bread is a big one, it is going to be 45 minutes. Again, our raisin bread is a small one, so it's going to be only 20 minutes. Our hot dog rolls and cheese rolls will also be baked 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, this is the outcome of our bread sweet dough with our hot dog with the cheese and with the hot dog again. That's 20 minutes. This is our big ensemada. Okay. But we still have to place some fillings on top. Okay. Our... You can see that our raisin bread is not yet done. So we still have to leave it for another 10 minutes. Eat when you are baking that you don't close open your oven. Okay? You have an interval of every 20 minutes to open the oven. Okay. After 5 minutes, we have now our ensemada. I am now going to place butter on top of our hot ensimada so there is your butter just simply spread your butter on your ensimada while it is still hot okay. we can now sprinkle sugar on top we can now place grated cheese on our ensemada we are ready for our raisin bread okay we added some 10 minutes for our raisin bread our spanish bread for the rating when i will start to grade you should look like this okay more fillings better this is our pan de coco it is full of coconut inside so the texture of your pan de coco should be like this and you have there the coconut flakes inside we are now going to slice after cooling it our raisin bread so our raisin bread should look like this our hot dog rolls, sometimes they call this also hot dog croissant. Now we are slicing our ensimada. The ensimada for your rating later should have a good outside, beautiful outside, and beautiful inside. 